Oh yeah. Suit up. Oh yeah, it's time to talk some hockey on all handy offer right here on FalconRadio.org WFAL because oh, I love you guys and welcome into the program as you're listening to all handy offer. Like I said, production of the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization right here on FalconRadio.org WFAL and also on our streaming cast this morning as well too. Good morning to you all as well. And welcome into the program at the State of Lisa. And it's time now we hit the bottom of the hour. It's time for our weather forecast. Brought to you in part right here by Libby Glass. Of course, right now it is currently 47 degrees outside, partly cloudy. A little, some areas are reporting fog. fog. Today it's going to be 54, close to near 60 degrees, 60% 60 chance of rain as well too. Tonight it will be 50 as low early on showers, early on chance of rain 30%. Tomorrow it will be in the 40s and rain as the temperature will start to slowly decline later on throughout the day and Friday. A chance of snow 30 degrees if you're headed up to Detroit like I am. Like, but like I said, currently outside right now, it is 47 degrees in the beautiful city of Bowling Green, Ohio. As you're listening to all Andy Alford, a production of the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization right here on falconradio.org, WFAL. If you're listening to us on the plethora of different modes, tune in radio, iTunes radio under the college radio tab, falconradio.org, bgrso.org. And if you're a Time Warner Cable subscriber, Wood County Channel 21, to say the least. So let's get into the ice. Let's hit the ice and let's talk. Some hockey in the state of least. And if you want to call in about and tweet the show, the tweet the show first is at all Andy Elford. It is at all Andy Elford. I have the Twitter page open right now for you guys right now. Also, if you want to call in and give your opinion and your prediction for the Bowling Green NIU football game, also the Ohio State Michigan State game, as well as your opinion about all other things in sports that are happening right now. Call me up right now, 419-372-9325. That's 419-372-WFAL, 419-372-9325. So the Jackets need to get a bit more, need to get better, more and more. And last night and last Wednesday, they took on the Nashville Predators. And the Predators are a good club, don't get me wrong. But they lose to the Predators 4 to nothing the day before Thanksgiving. And, you know, it was very interesting to see how that was going to shape up. Of course, Leguan, his fifth of the year. Nick Spal Spalding with his fourth to put the put the dagger in the Jackets' hearts on thanks uh, the day before Thanksgiving, to say the least. But the, but the Jackets continued their trying ways as they took on the Edmonton Oilers on Friday night. And, when the, and they improved with a 4-2 victory. I saw a lot of improvement. Nick Foligno stepping up to the plate. Arnson and Nisimov, his seventh of the season to say the least. And of course, Ryan Johansson had that beautiful goal in the first period set up by Cam Atkinson to say the least. And the Jackets were up 4 to nothing after two periods of play. And I thought, where has this team been all the season? You get, a, you get an early jump early on in the, season, in the game, you can capitalize on points and capitalize on a win. And that's what the Jackets needed to do right there. And they picked up a big victory, 4-2, to two, over the Edmonton Oilers on Friday night. Now, Saturday was a little bit of a different story. We headed into TED Garden in Boston to take on the Boston Bruins. And the Bruins, very good club, very strong. You know, Ryan Johansson continuing his goal streak as his 10th of the season. Had his 10th of the season in the third period. But it was Milan Lucic game, basically. He got two in the game. His 10th and 11th of the season made it 3-0. And the, and, and, the, and the Jackets couldn't get really going early on in the game as the Jackets lost that game on Saturday 3-1. But last night, Nick Foligno had one of the best goals I've seen in a long time. He put it in between his legs, and Nick Foligno... Buried it up top. He buried it up top for the win for the Jackets as he had a wrist shot assisted by Johansson, his 10th. Nick Foligno, his 7th. As the Jackets blanked the Tampa Bay Lightning 1 to nothing. A little worried about Sergey Bobrovsky was taken out of the game or late in the game. To say the least, he was, they reported an injury. I have not got any word late this morning, early this morning, of what he sustained, but we'll see what happens with that. 
to say the least. And looking at the lot, the Jackets have a long homestand going forward of this game, the games. Their next game is Friday night as they take on the Minnesota Wild. The Wild 16, 8, and 5. Columbus 11, 14, and 3. They need to step it up the step up into the pace a little bit more. And then the Jackets, of course, will not play again until that following that following uh, Monday when they take on the Pittsburgh Penguins on NBC Sports Network at 7.30. That will be a very good game, and we'll get to see the Jackets on national television, to say the least. And that will be a fun game to watch if you're going to go up to the bars and go out and have a couple, have some wings and have some beers as well, too. But other games last night in the NHL for you, it was San Jose will win 4-2 over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ottawa, the Ottawa Senators, of course, one of my favorite teams wins last. One of my second favorite teams wins four to two over the Florida Panthers. Of course, Carolina was a winner four to one over the Washington Capitals. The Chicago Blackhawks were a loser. The powerhouse lose to the Dallas Stars four to three at at the United Center. The Islanders lose in overtime to the Pittsburgh Penguins three to two. That was a very good game to say the least as well too. Nashville. A oh, loser to Vancouver three to one. Edmonton loses six to two to the Phoenix Coyotes. And the late game, of course. L.A. was a winner, 3-2 to two in a shootout. It took nine shooters for both teams, nine rounds, as the L.A. Kings were a winner, 3-2 to two over the Anaheim Ducks. So now looking at the standings in the, in the NHL for you, this is what it looks like. It looks like this. The Jackets are still struggling, and, and, and it's blatantly so, and, and I can understand that. If you're looking at the conference schedule, the conference they're 13th in the conference with 25 points. They're 11, 14, and three. Leading the leading in the conference races right now, it's Pittsburgh in first, Boston in second, Montreal third. You also have Detroit fourth, Tampa fifth, Toronto sixth, Washington seventh, and the Rangers eighth. So there's still a lot of time, and Buffalo only has 14 points this season, and the Jackets have improved from being 14th to 13th. The Islanders have struggled as of late, to say the least. But looking at the wild card situation, here it is. You know, we're in the new the new league format. Of course, Boston, Montreal leading in the in the and Detroit leading in the Atlantic. Metropolitan led by the Washington by the Pittsburgh Penguins, Washington, and New York. And in the wild card, the top two make it in. It's Tampa Bay and Toronto. And Tampa Bay, we just beat Tampa Bay last night and shocked the world a little bit. So that's just something to say the least about that one. Well the, like I said the Jackets are in action on Friday night, but tonight it will be the New York it will be the Philadelphia Flyers taking on the Detroit Red Wings. That game on NBC Sports Network to say the least. Also to, also tonight is the New Jersey Devils hosting the Montreal Canadiens. And Phoenix is on the road to take on the Calgary Flames to say the least. I was on Dan Kotnick's show last Tuesday. I was I, I asked to be on the air and I, I, I said yes and I will I said it last week and I will say it again we're gonna you need this out there right now we're gonna promote it hashtag fire Nick Vitusi the wall I need a change and Wednesday proved it you lose to South Carolina seven to nothing and I had a reported source reported source. Tell me, after the game, the two seal had those guys running sprints. Like Herb Brooks, that, that's the way to do it. You are That was a pathetic loss. You lost 7 to nothing to South Carolina. You were down 3 to nothing after 2. And you gave up 4 goals in the 3rd period. Outshot by South Carolina by 1 shot. Could not get anything going. Could not get anything going. And the walleye proved it. They proved it. They proved they couldn't get anything going. And then Friday was a little bit of a story in itself. They couldn't get it started. And they couldn't get the engines running until later on in the game. But they got blank four to nothing. They gave up a total of 12, 11 goals. In two games against the same exact team in a matter of three days. They got outshot 39 32. The wall I need change. And then and then Saturday, 
Saturday, they hit the road, they go to Wheeling, and what do they do? They get blank three nothing. They get out they they outshoot Wheeling 39-29, but they get they get blanked. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. And now you play Evansville tonight. You play Evansville tonight. Seven seven oh five start. You start uh, excuse me, Evansville tomorrow. Seven fifteen start time. And you're on this big road. You're on this road trip. It's two game road trip before coming back home on Wednesday, the eleventh of December. And that's basically honestly, it's time for a change. In, and I know some people are going to say to me, "Well, you can't, you can't change, you can't change this, you can't change that." Please, we need change in the locker room. We have not gotten past the first round of the playoffs. Vitusi isn't the man to do it. He is not the man to do this. And I think, and I believe that we need to go out and get somebody better. We have to. It's for the for the city, for the organization, and so much more. I keep them. I keep them for next year for the Winter Fest. But then after that, if they don't produce, it's time to go. But we need change. We need leadership change now. If that means firing Nick now and putting Watson as head coach, I'm fine with that. I am perfectly fine with that. And it's just it. it, it I, I have season ticket holders that come up to me and say to me, "Oh, this is this is ridiculous. We we shouldn't we shouldn't have to put up with this. We shouldn't, and you shouldn't have to put up with this. You shouldn't. It's just it's just it just gets to me gets in my crawl a little bit that they're that they're doing this. It's just unbelievable to say the least. Hey, I'll I'll say this too. BG struggling as well too as well. They they got swept this past weekend against Lake Superior State, losing both games four to three. They'll get back into action at on home ice as they take on Alabama Huntsville this upcoming Friday and Saturday night at the BGSU Ice Arena. You can listen to that game on our sister station eighty eight point one FM WBGU. Starting Friday night with a pregame show at six thirty seven, presented by the BGSU Hockey dot com pregame show, and then the voice of Kevin Myers and Adam Ramos on Friday night, and Jeff Roberts on Saturday. We'll give you play-by-play -play action of BGSU taking on Alabama and Huntsville. The Chargers come a-calling to the ice arena, to say the least. And it's going to be very interesting. So coming up next, we will reflect on what we learned on this program. We'll give you the recommendations, shout-outs, and it's going to be last call for phone calls. Remember, 419-372-9325. That's 419-372-9325. So I want to hear your predictions about the BGSU Northern Illinois football game because I you've heard my prediction BG to win thirty to twenty seven. Well, I want to hear your opinion to say the least. So stay with us. You're listening in to all Andy for the production of the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization right here on FalconRadio.org. WFAL. Hold on. A new conference in 2013 and another new opponent for BGSU hockey as the Chargers from the University of Alabama in Huntsville come to Bowling Green. Tune in to 88.1 FM WBGU December 6th and 7th for all the action beginning with the BGSUHockey.com pregame show at 6. Conservation results by working with local governments, communities, businesses, and scientists to save wildlife and wild places. 
Help us save the world's most endangered animals and places. Go to worldwildlife.org. This is Andy Offer, the host of All Andy Offer. You're listening to my show, All Andy Offer, right here on Falcon Radio Battle, WFAO. I love you guys. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. We're going to run this town. We're going to run Detroit on Friday. Sing along. As you're listening into All Andy Offered, a production of the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization right here on FalconRadio.org, WFAL. Hi again, everybody. This is Andy Offer coming to you from the beautiful West Hall Studios on the campus of Bowling Green State University. And we're here for our final segment of the program. So last call for phone calls, 419-372-9325. That's 419-372-9325 to say the least. So this is our, or tweet the show at all Andy Alford, or follow me on Twitter. It is at all Andy Alford, to say the least. So this is our second to last show of the season. Of course, we'll be back on the internet side come holiday after the holiday break. So some shout outs to get out to my mom and my sister. I love you guys so much. To my dad, I love you. And the Rockets still stink, but I think that they should play in the Little Caesars Pizza Pizza Bowl, to say the least. Uh, to all those listening around the world and right here in the beautiful nor- state of Northwest Ohio, area of Northwest Ohio, my apologies. Thank you for tuning in. To all those listening in Toledo as well, too, thank you for tuning in. To the people at Libby Factory Outlet in Toledo who listen to me every Wednesday morning, thank you for tuning in as well, too. As well too. And, hey, don't forget to stop by Libby Glass Factory Outlet up in, so, up in the two locations that they have available out in in the area in uh in Toledo, Ohio, and now in Sylvania, Ohio, for the senior seasonal location. Hey, if you need new glasses, bakeware, and so much more, just visit their main location at 205 South Erie Street in Toledo, Ohio. And there's also their new seasonal location on Sylvania Avenue at 5700 Monroe Street in the Starlight Plaza, right across from Dave's Running Footwear. Levy Factory Outlet, they've been setting my table right for the last 10 years. They can set yours as well, too, at the same time as well. So here's what we learned on the program today, of course. The recommendations, of course, Levy Glass, of course. If you haven't gotten your tickets for the MAC Championship game, watch it on ESPN2 starting at 8 o'clock. There's not that many tickets. There was not that many tickets left. I was one of the last few to get tickets for the game. They have sold out all 3,000 that they purchased. So now you have to get tickets through the box office at Ford Field, and that's about $24 that's with ticket the ticket fees, if we learn. If the Falcons win Friday night, I will actually go out and dance in the middle of the Union if I have to on Tuesday afternoon. But I think the Falcons will prove it. I think they will prove. I will be dancing all day at BG on Tuesday if they win because I will be in a very good mood. To upset a number 14 team in the country would be surprising to say the least. I believe Ohio State will be upset by Michigan State this week. The Lions will is a must win for the Lions this week for them. Against Philadelphia to keep the continuing, continuing their run. While Cleveland is going to go to Foxborough, I believe, probably get blown out of the water. The Jackets are improving, and we need to pick it up, especially this weekend against against the uh, the Minnesota Wild and the Monday against the Pittsburgh Penguins. To say the least, the Falcons need to get back on the winning page. While the Walleye need to get out of the funk that they are in, to say the least. I want to close this program by telling you that this is this is all Andy Alfred, and you've been listening to this program for so many time, so much, so much time, and um, this is a this is a fun program. This is a great organization to be a part of. If you're not, it, the Holy Green Radio Sports Organization is a family, and we we honestly love each other, we care about each other, and uh, it's a great organization to be a part of. Um, if you want more information, if you want to join our organization next semester. Visit our website at bgrso.org, to say the least, or visit our meetings every Tuesday in West Hall in 201 starting at 9 o'clock. 
yours truly will always be there, of course, listening in as well, too. Um, also, want to give a shout out to those that have been, uh, were affected by the tornadoes a couple of weeks ago by in Oregon and in, um, in Perrysburg. Our thoughts and prayers are still with you during this hard time. I know you're all rebuilding, and it's very good for you guys to do that, to say the least. Our thoughts and prayers are with you guys as well, too. Um, also, I hope you get your holiday shopping done. My Thanksgiving was perf was good this week, this week, and it was um uh, it was interesting to say the least of um how how good Thanksgiving has been for for yours truly, and how how the holiday holiday season has shaped up to say the least. And um, it's a little lonely, but um, I'm I'm doing okay to say the least. And of course, yeah, a big victory for the Falcons would 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 on Friday night would be a big surprise. So if you're gonna go to the match championship game, look out for me. I'll be in section 123 on the aisle down low on the field. So uh, stop by, say hi, get a picture, and uh, do what you want. Do what you want to do, and maybe I'll maybe I'll get you a drink or something like that. Maybe a popcorn, something something like that. But uh, it, it's gonna be a fun time Friday night to see the Falcons. Trying to upset a BCS ranked team in the Northern Illinois Huskies, to say the least, and it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It really is going to be interesting to say the least. And I think Bowling Green's a very good club. They are a very very good club, and um, I just hope that they prove they prove to me this week that they can that they're the legitimate team that I've been talking about all season long, to say the least. Uh, uh, it's becoming it's becoming a habit that this is the towards the end of the program and you know it just it, you know what it gets really it, I'm gonna I'm bringing this up right now um on on my on the show we do a, a segment called Andy Rants and Andy Rants usually brings up a topic that you know I see a lot and, it, and you know what I see a lot of this on on Facebook and on Facebook a lot. Taking the status from Tumblr and then putting it on Facebook. It is not necessary. It is definitely not necessary. And to say the least, if you're going to repost it and repost it, it's not necessary. It really isn't. Because you never know who's reading your post. Get my drift? To say the least. That's going to do it for all of the offer this week. I hope you have a terrific rest of the week, of course. And, of course, we take you out with, with some windows down by Big Time Rush, to say the least. I'll see you guys next week for our last edition here in the beautiful West Hall Studios for FalconRadio.org, WFAL. For, well, until then, I am Andy Alford, and I hope you have a terrific week. I am, and to the Tigers, to the Indians, to the Jackets, to the, to the Falcons, who need to win this Friday, and so much more. Victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you next week for another edition of All Andy Alfred. Love you. Bye. GRSO.org on how to join us or even visit our next meeting each and every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. in West Hall. It's Sports Talk Radio from BGRSO.
Do you enjoy watching sports? Do you imitate announcers such as Joe Buck or John Madden while watching a game? Have you ever thought about a career in radio? If so, you can join the Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization today, which is open to all BG students who want their voice and opinions about sports to be heard. BGISO offers announcing for high school football and basketball games, as well as BG football, baseball, softball, and men's basketball games. BGRSO also is the flagship organization for Falcon Hockey and Falcon Women's Basketball broadcasts and offer weekly radio shows for our members, which cover from every sport you can pick up from football and basketball to mixed martial arts and professional wrestling. BGRSO is located on the campus of Bowling Green State University in West Hall, Room 25. And if you are interested in joining, visit BGRSO.org or call 419-372-6001. That's 419-372-6001. Or log on to bgrso.org for more information. The Bowling Green Radio Sports Organization, creating opportunities in the world of broadcasting for you. BGRSO brings you Bowling Green Men's Basketball Wednesday, December 11th. The Falcons will return to the Stroh Center and play in front of a home crowd as they host North Dakota at 7 p.m. Pre-game coverage gets underway at 6.30 and the tip-off at 7 p.m. I'll see you guys next week for another edition of All in the Albert. I love you guys.